Okay, anyway, I'm back. This is where I need to get serious about uh, turning the edges here, come up, get rid of the square edge, come up, shoot across and get this way thin down and flat on the back because otherwise I'm going to have a problem. So I need to do that. So I guess I'll just start doing it. But I'm trying to be oblique a little bit so I can not make super steepness. Big steepness isn't good. Ugly, huh? I think I can fix it. The I grabbed is less gritty than the one I've been using.
I see, I don't know if you can tell, but I was trying to do some good on this side as I'm kind of, I'm trying to bring this up and do some good and thin and regularize in preparation while I'm getting ready to turn this edge all the way up and, and shoot back this way. Um, and they don't all have to get at the same place at the same time, like right here is a spot that's high enough. See, that came all the way over there and lowered it some. These are not high enough. I always like to work to get weight off the ends. Here's an opportunistic hump and a platform that's okay. So hold everything good. And get rid of a lot of that. Quit filming on travel days. More airplanes some days than others. I don't know if you saw that little piece of concrete I knocked off, but... <clears throat> concrete is a, is a phenomenon that's common in Texas rock, Texas flint. Another concrete spot right there. What I was going to say about concrete is I don't like to have concrete ever be part of my platform because its behavior is not predictable. Some concrete breaks better than other, but and I'll try and flake through it, but I don't like flaking on it. I don't like to, to hit it. It's just not predictable enough. You don't really know how hard to hit it and if it's gonna work. And platform failure just can be a big deal.
I'm creating a hinge right in there. I don't care because I'm going to get it from the side. One thing I'm guilty of way too often is not properly prioritizing and thinking about my base of my work, my, the, the base. Tips are easy to deal with usually, and so a lot of times it's better to finish your, finish your base and then uh, like get your, you can get the front end kind of 50% or 75% or whatever done sometimes, especially if you don't just have an artist's eye to where you can just finish your point and then perfectly notch it and it'll all be have symmetry. It's better for me to finish the base and then <coughs> Then it's easy for me to it's easier for me to adjust the tip in the line. So this is still all real funkadated, but it has lost a lot of mass and it's getting better. And so now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and. I mean I'm ambivalent usually. Maybe I'll do a couple more strikes. I can get sometimes bigger and bolder and more. Effective strikes at time for the big end with a big direct. But of course the control can be at times a little better with the indirect and certain strikes too. Especially when it's a, a funky edge, I don't have the platform exactly right. Um, or it's a tight area. Like this is a classic area, I got a big hump here. And this is kind of tight, but I do have a platform there, but I'd like to shoot really through a lot. That's better for indirect. <clears throat> and big indirect, not, sorry about that. Big indirect, not little. See, it cut right through that hump and, you know, lowered it completely, not partially. When you have a situation where your balance is really wrong to where it's really thick on one side and, I mean, and, you, and you're lost, I mean, you don't have a lot of width and you really need some action quickly and it's got to be right and it's got to do a lot indirect can do that for you I still see people online and I guess I always will see people online um, thinking in generic big picture kind of terms about their napping.
And what I just would like to say as often as possible is every single individual flake is different and the the fine point of the whole game matters I mean it's it's a it is not a it is not a generic tasking it's individual flakes I mean I I don't care how many good flakes you take if you take one real bad one because if you took 150 great flakes and one real bad one, well, there goes the game. Okay, this is a good example. I've got a I've got a real thickness problem here, and I'm a little below the center line. And I, even though the big hump is here, there's still thickness over here too. So looking at it from a balance standpoint, I can I need to remove stuff on this side and the other side to get the droop and stuff straightened out. So since it's closer to this side, I lose the least by going this way first. There's a lot of difference between abraders. You know, I buy different abraders at nap ends and stuff, and I end up with a whole bunch of abraders that I don't like. I'm not really using this buckskin for anything now except it, it's just a drape to protect my hand at the moment. Uh, I don't trust my ability to stay away from flying shards, flying flakes. Dang it. Here's another trick. This platform right here, the good part of it, the platform platform is too low to take a thin flake. So I'm going to cheat and go halfway up the side of the platform and hit it to get a thicker flake. And I do stuff like that a lot. But I shouldn't even tell you that and I shouldn't recommend it. So now I'm going to abrade again to raise that, that knife edge part and thicken it up for another flake right along the same area. But see, some people would have meticulously fixed that and isolated it and it would have taken them like five minutes to get that one platform like it should have been. And that's where I say I just don't do certain things quote unquote right. And the reason I tell you this is not because I want you to do it wrong like me. It's because I want you to just understand that some of the stuff that I do and show is not conventional wisdom and not standard like this platform right here well it's it's angled and so instead of correcting all this crap and and fixing it 
I just kind of hit it across it that way. But actually, this other plat, nah, I'll hit it across it that way. I'm looking at the thickness of the flakes I'm taking. I'm looking at where they're going too, but I see like this this thing right there, that's completely shaped wrong for a platform. Hit it anyway. Okay, uh too long, I'll be right back. 